Hello, Steve Dennis here, and today we're going to be talking about the five traits of an effective leader. Let's grow. Hello, Steve Dennis here, and I'm super excited to be with you again as we talk about the traits of a good leader. And I'm super excited about this because here's what I know about leadership. Leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so right off the bat, right, off, right out of the gate, a simple layman's definition of what leadership is. Leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. Now, over the past year, I've had the privilege and honor of taking leadership de uh, development curriculum into different companies. And I'm going to share with you today the five traits of an effective leader that has been somewhat of the, um, probably the most uh, well-respected and even the most, uh, the most popular uh, concept of my content that I've been teaching on, okay? And so I'm excited to be able to share it with you because, again, for the past year, I've been sharing it with different companies and, and seeing some amazing results from that. And wow, here we are in the privacy of this video, and I get a chance to share it with you today. Before we get started, here's a quote I want to give you that has meant so much to me this past year, and that quote is very simple this, that to bring out the best in others, I have to first bring out the best in me. Let me make it applicable to leadership. To bring out the best in others, to bring out the best leadership in others, I must first first bring out the best leader in me so if you're watching me you are a leader uh, an influencer in your home on your job in your community no matter who you are you are a leader but my friend your leadership your leadership development your leadership growth it begins with you in order to bring out the best in others let's bring out the best in others us <laughs> and I'm pointing to me okay uh, yeah, three fingers are pointing back at me right I'm reminding myself that Steve in order for you to bring out the best in your team the best in your organization you must first of all bring out the best in you so let's jump in okay let me give you these five traits I'm just super excited about it to share with you what what great leaders do okay number one Great leaders, they listen without judgment. Come on now. Jot that one down. They listen without judgment. Another piece that I've been teaching a lot of this past year has been I teach the, the three L's to leadership. The three L's to leadership. The three L's to leadership, it goes like this. That good leaders listen, they learn, and then they lead. Okay. Unfortunately, a lot of leaders have it backwards. They, they try to lead and never listen. <laughs> they try to lead and never learn. But good leaders listen first. Why is listening so important? Because you learn something about your team. And what you learn becomes a cue, right? Where, in other words, now you know how to effectively lead your family because you've learned something about your family. You know how to effect, effectively lead your organization and your company because you've learned something about your team or your direct reports. You've learned how to effectively lead because you've listened, you've learned, and now you know how to influence and to lead and to lead well. So one more time, the first trait, great leaders real, real good, sharp leaders. They listen without judgment. Wayne Dyer said it this way, that when I judge you, it does, my judgment doesn't define you. It defines my need to judge. Um, let me encourage you with your growth to become a leader who can really have this Number one, really incorporated in your leadership model, and that is how can you be more effectively in leading your people and listening to your people without judgment? I don't have time today, but maybe on another video, I want to share with you how I had to learn how to do that, even with my family members, how to listen without judging them. Okay. Number two, 
Number two, practice being authentic. <laughs> Number two, great leaders. Another trait of great leaders is that they practice being authentic. Not fake, but real, authentic. They don't mind sharing. They don't mind being vulnerable with their people. Here's what I know. I learned this lesson a long time ago. That uh, you know, my weaknesses with my team and my, my weaknesses with my organization, I thought I was doing a good job hiding them. And guess what? My team knew the whole time. <laughs> Here's my point. <laughs> you know, they already know where you're good. Your team already knows where you're good. They also know where you're weak. They know your weak spots, whether you want to talk about them or not. So good. Hey, I'm giving you permission. Be vulnerable. Practice being authentic. It makes all the difference in the world. Okay? <sighs> Number three, build community. Good leaders, great leaders, they also have a, an, an ongoing practice of building community. They find ways of how can I build community within my organization? How can I foster those relationships and build people up? How can I make it my practice of building people? Question for you, if you're watching this video, when was the last time you intentionally did something that was an action step to build people up. In other words, here's a statement, I, 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 a principle that I live by, that every person has a key to their heart. Let me, let me give it to you real quick, okay? Every person has a key to their heart. My job is to find out that key, and when I find that key to their heart, how can I take it and turn that key with integrity? Because every person has a key to their heart. So again, good leaders, they build community. Number three, oh, I love this. Oh, number four, they share their power. Oh, come on now. I love number four. Good leaders, effective leaders. Another, another trait of effective leadership and effective leaders is that they share their power. Uh, let me tell you why that's important. Secure leaders do not mind giving their power away. Hear me out. Insecure leaders want to keep the power all to themselves. And my friend, <laughs> again, I'm 57 years old. I've been leading now for well over 35 years. I've led in the nonprofit world the church world, and the business world. It doesn't matter which world. Leadership principles are still the same. Here's what I know. Here's what I know. In all of those different aspects of life, those different, those different communities, you're going to always see an example of secure leaders and insecure leaders. I want to encourage you, please jot this down, that secure leaders do not mind sharing power and giving it away. Okay, that's another trait of good leadership. Okay, next so number number four is share power. Number five, you can probably halfway guess what number five is. I love, love, love number five. And my friend, check this out before I go any further, leaders. Number five is a game changer for you and I. In my personal leadership uh, leadership life, number five has been and still continues to be year after year one of the greatest joys of leading. When you can look at your people, in fact, check this out. I teach this a lot in, in the different organizations that I go into. If you really want to know how well a leader is doing, look at the people. <laughs> Because the people are a reflection of the leader. Okay? So number five, as I get ready to close this video. Oh, yeah, as you can tell, I'm having a lot of fun. You know why? Because here's why I believe that if I can add value to you, you will multiply that value to somebody else. Because my friend leadership, leaders on this, on this video, there are some people you know I don't know. There are some people that you know that will never watch me on this video. But if I can add value to you, 
and give you something that will help you with your leadership journey, on your leadership journey. You will take that and also share that and, and multiply that value to your family members, to, <laughs> to your organization, to people within your, on your team. Okay, number five, number five. The fifth trait of an effective leader is that leaders develop people. They develop people. Wow. And I'm excited because I got to share this with you. I got to, okay, I, I got to share with you a leadership mistake that I made in the early years of my leadership. Now, I look back on that guy now and I thought, oh, bless his heart. He was so insecure. Look at him. Look at Steve back in 1997. He was so insecure. He had the opportunity to develop people, but he didn't, he didn't know how to do it. And he, he was insecure and intimidated and he felt like people would not listen to him. And all he needed was a one-liner, a one-liner that would become that one line. He learned this one-liner in 1999. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been using this one-liner ever since 1999 that helps me to fall into that particular space of developing people. And my friend, I cannot wait to share that one-liner with you. Now, now listen, now listen before I give it to you. Let me encourage you with something, okay? You got to promise me you're going to use it. You got to promise me you're going to use it. And I mean, use it. Don't wait. Use it fast. Have some fun and email me and tell me about the results. Because I know this. I know this. If you will use this one liner, you're going to pick up your phone and you're going to send me an email. Go, oh, Steve, I used the one liner and here are the results from it. <laughs> okay, I just know you are. Okay. So learn from that 1993. Three, four, ninety-five, that ninety-six young Steve Dennis leader that that was intimidated and, and insecure and did not know the proper structure of how to develop people. And here's my one-liner: When I'm re ready to develop, when I'm developing people, new members of my team, for example, who um, are just joining my team, here's what I do. <sighs> Here's my statement, my, my one-liner. Hey, gang, join me for a 45-minute phone call or join me for a meeting at Chick-fil-A and let me share with you what I'm learning about leadership. There it is. There it is. I want to share with you what I'm learning about leadership. That one-liner, my friend changed the game for me because it gave me a leading way of how to approach my people, especially members of my team who were older than I was, who had been leading longer than me, <laughs> who I felt intimidated by. But this one liner allowed everybody to be on the same page without feeling intimidated, insecure, or feeling less than, okay? Hey gang, let's come together so I can, sh I want to share with you what I'm learning about teamwork. I want to share with you what I'm learning about leadership. I want to share with you what I'm learning about the five traits of an effective leader. And that becomes a cultural statement for you to help you to be more effective and intentional on developing people. So we're quick to review the five things that great leaders do, the five traits of an effective leader. Number one, they listen without judgment. Number two, they practice being authentic. Number three, they build, not break, but they build community. Number four, they share power. And number five, they develop people. Let's take it. Let's incorporate it. Let's grow and let's go. Thank you so much. Be well.